Hi there, Joe Martinez from the uh, hangar deck of the USS Hornet Sea, Air and Space Museum with another one of my plain fact videos. Today we're going to focus on torsion bars. <clears throat> now we've done a couple of videos, uh, I hope you've seen them elsewhere uh, on, on our channel and stuff, about how we launch aircraft off of aircraft carriers. Uh, we're going to go more into detail as the actual torsion bar. Now briefly stated, uh, if you haven't seen those videos, that on the aircraft there is a block called a holdback fitting. On the carrier, there's a block that attaches to the flight deck. It's also a holdback fitting. We place those two together when we get the aircraft up on the catapult, and we put one of these torsion bars in between those two. This is the weak link in the system. And then when they stress the catapult to the weight of the aircraft and push the button, the catapult will start to pull the aircraft until this torsion bar breaks apart, releasing the aircraft, and that's how the aircraft gets launches. Why is it called a torsion bar? Well, we know what compression is, right? Trying to push stuff together. Torsion is pulling stuff apart. Now, this is a collection I have that I've collected over the years of six different aircraft torsion bars. These do not exist anymore. They've gone away. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Look at them. Why are they all different? Well, because the aircraft sizes are different, therefore the weights are different. Can you guess out of this collection, which is the biggest aircraft? The biggest and heaviest aircraft, if you said the yellow one, you bet your butt, that's it. That is a big heavy thing, this weighs like a barbell. Okay. And you'll notice that they're not only color coded, they are shaped in such a way that they can only fit in the holdback fittings one way. This is the Navy's version of foolproof, but as Murphy's Law states, nothing is foolproof because fools are so ingenious. I'm sure somebody has tried to put that in wrong. Here's an F-8, look at that. You cannot put this in backwards. Crazy, can't do that. Same thing with uh, an S-3 torsion bar. It's got sort of a UFO shape here and just a flat round circle cup thing there. Can't put them in backwards. So for different, different aircraft, this is for an A3 Sky Warrior, F8 Crusader, I believe that's for an F4, this is for an S3 Viking, uh, an A6 Intruder, and an A7 Corsair. Okay. Now, what actually happens is when those break apart, half of that fitting will stay in the holdback, or half of that torsion bar will stay in the holdback fitting on the aircraft, half will stay on the flight deck in that. Uh, hold deck fitting on the flight deck and we have to take them out and throw them over the side We're very good at polluting the oceans. This is what they look like When they're broken in half, you'll see it actually stretches before it pulls apart. That's why they taper down like that kind of bizarre, right? Cool Expensive you got to replace them it, It's something you got to do over and over. Well, we've done away with that. I'm going to show you what that is Okay, so we have rem uh, moved away from one use torsion bars to launch aircraft to this device right here. This was happening in the late 80s when I was still in the Navy because although we were still using these torsion bars, I do have photographs of a bunch of these sitting on the side of the flight deck for some of the aircraft that have already switched over. This is a hydraulically actuated holdback bar. How this works is that uh, the F-14s and the F-18s Instead of having a holdback fitting that you put something in, it gets launched by the nose and there's these two fingers. If you go on the F-14 up on our flight deck, you'll see these kind of spring, uh, they got bushings there kind of, with these fingers there. And what happens is you take this holdback bar, pull that down, and you'll see it's got sort of an arrow fitting. Those two fingers fit in here. Then this slides over it, effectively locking those fingers, and the aircraft can't go anywhere now. So when they move it up to the flight deck, to where the uh, catapult is, this will lock into the deck, and everything is locked in place, the aircraft can't move. Now, when they push the button to launch the catapult, and the pressure would have been enough to break one of those torsion bars, what happens on this is this center section will slide forward slightly, releasing those fingers, and the aircraft goes. This is reusable over and over and over again. It's not a one-time use thing. And these are color-coded too. Orange, this is for an F-18. An F-14 would have had a blue one. 
So there you go. There's a complete picture on how we launch aircraft off the aircraft carriers. Uh, what the F-35 is using now, I'm sure it's the same thing. I don't know what the color of the uh, holdback bar is. But uh, this was interesting when I first started doing research on this about 10 years ago. I actually came across the patent drawings for this. So I know what the entire inside of this thing looks like. Been around quite a while. Much better system. And there you go. So, Joe Martinez from the USS Hornet Sierra and Space Museum. Hope to see you up on the flight deck sometime.